Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 weather with AMS certified chief meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Well, we had a few sprinkles move through early this evening, not much, and most of the uh, rainfall stayed to our south and east. What you're looking at right now, that's our live sky tracker here in Woodway, and what we are looking at right now, quiet conditions. Skies are partly cloudy. That is 84 eastbound, and you can see uh, not much traffic on there at this moment, and it looks like most of the roadways are fairly Fairly quiet, which is pretty good. As we uh, check out those temperatures, though, 95 degrees today, today for the high temperature, but we're going to get even hotter over the next several days. Matter of fact, yeah, you see the grill in the background. I know a lot of folks will try to get out there and grill, but it's too hot. It's sizzling, and that's exactly what's going to be like with our temperatures. 100 on Wednesday, 100 on Thursday, 98 on Friday and Saturday, back into the uh, upper 90s to 100s, I think, as we hit the tail end of the weekend. So you get the idea here. It's going to be hot. It's going to be dry and it's going to be humid. And as we check out those rain chances, <laughs> as you can see, they're under 10%. There will be a slight chance on Wednesday. I didn't even put it in there. It's a 10% chance. So rather than tease you, I'm just going to say we're going to look at quiet conditions here, but hot conditions across central Texas. It's 81 degrees here in Waco, 77 in Colleen, as well as Temple, 84 degrees in College Station, and the current temperature down in Brenham right at 86. You'll notice the humidity. It kind of jumps the temperature a little bit. 90 Three degrees is what it feels like there. 86 in Palestine, 76 in the Hillsborough area, and the current heat index over in Lampasas right at 75 degrees. So what we are going to be watching for the next couple of days, again, high pressure out west is going to be building in. That'll give us pretty quiet conditions here. Eventually, though, we're going to start to see maybe uh, some uh, little impulses slide across it late next week, but uh, right now, the only impulse that we're seeing right now is giving us a few hit and miss showers down in the south central part of the state. That is mainly about it. And again, we had a few sprinkles over toward the uh, College Station area and the Brazos Valley, but you can see at midnight, just partly cloudy conditions across the area. Temperatures in the upper 70s. By tomorrow morning, expect partly cloudy skies. Upper 60s to low to middle 70s across the board here. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, Sunshine, you'll need the sunglasses for sure at noon. 89 degrees the temperature. And by the afternoon, I think we'll climb into the mid to upper 90s for highs. Stationary front to our north and west. And you can see what happens with that as we uh, hit late night hours on Tuesday into Wednesday. It kind of sags a little bit. But for the most part, I think it's going to be too far to the north to give us any shower activity as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. So Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll put the clock in motion for you. Partly sunny skies, and you can see most of shower activity staying right along that front. So there may be a chance, and I was telling you that 10% chance, there it is. But I think mainly to our north, and there could be a few hit and miss rain showers right along 45, but that would be about it. So here's the forecast then for tonight. Becoming partly cloudy, 72 degrees will be the low temperature, and then a mix of sun and cloud. Clouds tomorrow is going to be another hot but very seasonal. 98 degrees, the high temperature. And as we look ahead here, take a look here. This is the Lockridge Priest Home Services Long Range 10 day forecast. Sunshine on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Just like we were showing you there, upper 90s to right around 100 degrees. The heat index ranging somewhere in the 102 to 104 range here for the next several days. Still no rain in the forecast even next week, although some of the models are hinting at maybe some rain next Wednesday and Thursday. So just stay tuned for that. I'm not going to even put it in there at this moment. Nighttime lows only uh, coming down into the uh, mid to upper 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Once again, pretty hot conditions across our area. We're not looking at much in the way of any rainfall. Nighttime lows mid, maybe upper 70s over the next several days. This is very typical for that first week or so in August. It's always hot and it's just Texas-like, isn't it?